We first brought you news of the Y-Brain back in September 2008. Now we've finally got our hands on one, and here it is. So what do you get? Well, it's touchscreen, XP-enabled, UMPC, Ultra Mobile PC for those not down with the acronym lingo. You get a split QWERTY keyboard, very much like Microsoft's ergonomic thing that they tried to force on us back in the 90s. There's Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth, you get the touchscreen, as we said, there's a 60 gig hard drive in, on board, and it's all run via the VIA chip rather than Intel Atom. In use, it's fairly easy to use. This big trackpad here is used for scrolling around the screen, and then there's a number of buttons here, including mouse, left, right, and click to get things doing. The keyboard itself, well, it does take a tiny bit of getting used to, and if you have used the ergonomic keyboard in the past, then you'll probably feel right at home. If you haven't, then trying to find the space bar, you tell me where it is. It's actually over here, this little thing just there. It's quite hard to use. Other than that, there's a flip up 1.3 megapixel camera so you can do some video calling. There's even a USB socket so you can add extra memory or even a 3G data card. Now for £420, it's slightly more expensive than a netbook, but unlike the Sony VIOP that's just been announced at CES, this one I probably could just about get in my pocket. So if you've just bought the new Y-Brain 1H, then time to get upset and disappointed because here is the new one, it's the i1, which is due out later this year. What do you get as an improvement? Well, you still get the same large screen, that's touch screen, of course. You still get it running XP, but they've bumped the processor up to an Intel Atom 1.33 chip, and they've added a number of other features, such as HSDPA via the big antenna here. There's an SD card slot as well, so you can get music, photos, and images on, and they've increased the battery life from a paltry three hours up to seven. What else do you get? Well, there's the rather strange keyboard that's been split in two, and if you're used to the Microsoft ergonomic keyboard that they tried to push on you in the 90s, then you'll feel comfortable at home. Otherwise, it will take a time to get used to. I mean, the space bar is just a single little character, not what you're probably used to. However, a nice touch is that they do, it does come with this rather good trackpad, which allows you to control the mouse cursor quite easily still got the 1.3 megapixel camera and you get a stylus thrown in for good measure just so you can use that if your fingers aren't good enough. Due out later this year, that's the Y-Brain i1.